correction there. He he is the genius, and I am an idiot. Kayla, did did you not get the new one I sent you with with the, all of the rest of Team Adventurous's logos on? I I sent no, it. you didn't send it to me. Dude, mm. no, you did not. Anyways, welcome to We Are a Genius. Tonight, we are discussing a topic of apparently much controversy. Mm -hmm. uh, this used to be something that everyone had a, a very clear answer for. And then there was a sort of a... A huge hi it? hissy fit. A hissy fit. A rabble rousing. Um, <laughs> dare I say, a peasant revolt. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you don't get it this week. Oh okay? man, not even just a little bit. I don't. I didn't prepare one. I don't have anything. Just I, like right off the top of your head, pull something out of your ass. That'll be gay. <laughs> 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 and so Zach bent over backward and ripped the anal from his anus like he was starting to start, like he was attempting to start his father's chain off. Uh, uh, <laughs> he revved up. Zach was revved up. After his anal beads were rented from oh, the all the way. Oh my god, to be fair, Kate played that. Oh, it was an accident. I'm sorry, I hit the wrong one. They were right next to each other. <clears throat> yes, we gymnastics. We, we, to, we we're going to have to cane Caitlin until she until she gets this <sighs> right because oh, yeah, there's there's been one I'm, too many fuckers. I'm I am going to be punished. She is going to be the punished. I'm going to be punished. She's going to be punished. But yes, today there is no case for her. <laughs> I'll do them. Stay tuned. Yes, stay tuned. Don't we will, we will have anywhere. them next week. Just we will have them. This we, show. Will, <laughs> we will have them next week. And Lauren, we will. I can't prom. No, no don't, don't you promise things on my segment. Well, no, I did not say promise. I said, take it as a suggestion. We will get there eventually. Yeah. I can, I can promise you that. We will eventually get to gymnastics. If you thought that wasn't going to happen, you would have been sorely mistaken. We should get you a suggestion box. <laughs> um, the, the comment section is the suggestion box. No, I mean, like, we'd write them down and, like, put them in the box, almost like what we used to do with the magic hat. I mean, we could just use the magic hat. Yes, we could. Yeah. <laughs> but, Eddie, I feel like I almost feel, we got so... We got pulled, <laughs> oh, anyway, right. so... <laughs> all right. A double feature next week? Ooh. Guys, give, they wanna, give us... Okay. You, they want a double feature. Was, I'm trying to run a show here. <laughs> me. I'm trying to be. Dude, this is adventurous after dark, man. And look here. You fed you fed them. I've created a monster. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, Victor. Here's your baby. We're not talking about gay sports this time. <laughs> but we already kind of are with how much you're saying we're not talking about gay sports. No, we're talking about not talking about it. And that's different. <laughs> uh, so, where are we on the double feature? We are not double feature. Hey, listen, listen. I want to be able to do this segment on and off for a long time. And if I rush through... Every sport. Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm going to assume that in the straightest way possible because this is not no broke back mountain shit up in here. Say, yay, we broke back. And you were like, oh, is that like reference to. <laughs> like, Jeez! So on anyway. track. Anyway. Yeah, all right. Explain the thing you were telling okay. me the other day about oh. the day 
arcs used to be like all right a privilege so for those of you who do not know um back in the day when trad pub was actually in its glory days back when they actually cared about readers and protecting their authors um there was this program basically that they started where an author would have an exclusive book club usually and this was started really shortly after authors started getting like their own websites and stuff and people would get would join these exclusive book clubs for these authors and my granny actually became a part of one for John Grisham and this is how come I even knew about like getting advanced reader copies when I was younger younger before I started and got into business and what it was for was readers who paid the subscription monthly to be a part of this book club were eligible to get arcs of the next book that was going to be released and so essentially these arcs were actually being paid for by these readers in advance albeit they were paying a lesser price than say somebody who went and bought the book full price at the bookstore after it was released and was selling retail however they were still paying for the privilege of getting to see the author's work before everyone else bought it in the bookstore and so to 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 bring this forward and and explain why this is a relevant issue to author tube so if you if you go to just about any <laughs> author tubers channel and you look around the time where they released a book you'll see them talking about how to get a hold of their arc mm -hmm. and a lot of the time it's free in my case it was for for both my books so far and we have been talking a lot about the ecosystem of author tube and the ecosystem of indie publishing in general really and the more we hash it over we don't think that there's anything servicing an author to give out their art for free now, I want to say, I do want to say, cash monies is not the only form of accept, acceptable payment for an ARC. Okay. Being inside an author's fandom to a sufficient degree is a form of payment in and of itself. So yeah. if you're in there, if that author has a Facebook group and a YouTube page and a website and, a, and you are just up that author's ass, you're on their mailing list, you are you know, subscribe to their website, you're subscribed to their YouTube channel. That's form of payment enough, in my opinion. But my, but what we think is important is to not give your arcs away to people who have no skin in the game. Yeah. Because if someone doesn't have any skin in the game, you're just giving them an arc. You don't know if they're actually going to give you a review. You don't know if they're even going to read it. Mm-hmm giving your arc to a stranger a lot of these times i know i did and so we here at team adventurous would like to encourage you as an indie author to only give your arcs away to people who have some kind of skin in the game whether they've paid for it whether they're subscribed to all your stuff whether they're on your mailing list some kind of commitment to you as an author yeah. so that you know that person's actually going to read it and they're likely to give you a review. These are the important things. Because it's important to first see that your work is worth something. And advanced reader copies, these are not things that you send to beta readers. These are not things that you send to even alpha readers. These are not things that you send to the proofreader after they get fresh out of the editor. 
advanced reader copies are the like right before like within two weeks right before launch right it's all pretty and ready to go right the idea of an advanced reader copy was originally to get the most vocal and committed of your fan base to start mm -hmm. talking about your book in the literary world to generate buzz yeah to create a to create a market for your book so that when you released your book got bought up mm -hmm. and giving your book away for free to people who aren't even going to read it or if are they're going to dnf it because they don't have time or they're not committed to you as an author yeah it ceased to serve that purpose so why would you give it to them? You're giving your story away to someone who, by the way, you might be able to convert to a sale later on with proper marketing. Mm -hmm. But if you give them an arc and they DNF it, you know, people do not usually finish books that they DNF. So. And if you give it to them for free, they may not even read it. Yes. And, Most and again, of the time. That's been my experience is books that are given away for free. You have to create a sufficient interest so that the person is actually motivated to read your book. Mm -hmm. And you do not create for most people. You do not create sufficient interest when you just hand them the book. Mm -hmm. That's the majority of people. Um, I'm not saying those readers don't exist. There's a lot of readers Okay, who like free shit and they will just read everything they can get their hands on because they're voracious readers. Yeah. But that's a that's a pretty narrow subset of the general reading community. Okay. The ravenous reader types, that's like maybe 10% of the overall reading community. Most people are much more casual than that. Yeah. But for the most part, when it comes to researching this kind of thing. The people who got a lot of their stuff for free, as opposed to people that bought their stuff. When people buy things, especially books, only one out of every five people is actually going to review you. And one out of every... The stat is one out of every five people that is going to review you is going to say something negative as opposed to the one out of every hundred who are going to say something positive because the margin of people who are actually going to be behooved to say something positive about the experience that they had with what you created is a lot bigger or should I say slimmer margin? A slimmer. Yes. Yeah. There's a lot slimmer margin because it's humans' natural inclination to find things to complain about. Yeah. And which, by the way, is another reason you want to give to people who are already committed to you. Because if you, if you sell, not sell, if you give your arcs or sell them, if you want, mm -hmm. if you can market that and make it happen all the power to you we're in a capitalist yeah. society for a reason yeah because it works the people who are willing to put skin in the game to get their hands on your arc are the people who are going to talk about it mm -hmm. usually they're the people who are going to say good things about it and that's obviously going to help you grow your brand and actually get your book launch to be successful Yes. So, it, it's kind of common sense when you really think about it in, in a one, two, three sequential, you know, way of thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Who do I want talking about my book? People that are going to say good things about it. Who's going to say good things about my book? People that like my writing. So who should I give my book to? It It's right. Simple. <laughs> it's simple stuff. And also, you know, if you have the right kinds of readers... They're going to be honest with you. So it's not necessarily going to be a great big, you know, blow smoke up your ass, as, you know, echo chamber all the time. You're going to have people who are like, hey, you know what? I've been here since this person got started. 
so I'm a ride or die, so I'm going to give them my honest opinion and the fact that I am, you know, supporting them on their journey by, say, you know, being subscribed to a book club. I think that that needs to come back, honestly, because, you know, as as important as it is to have, you know, an email list and stuff, I think it would be really good, especially for independent authors, if they were to start, even if it was just like, I don't know, like $4.99 a month. And, and Caitlin, I, I would actually, I would actually jump in here and tell you, Book author book clubs still exist in the form of their Patreons. That's right. <laughs> yeah. All it all it changed is the name, baby. Yep, exactly. But you know, and then you get people out here who get all upset because somebody's fans were ravenous enough to want to pay hundred and fifty dollars a copy for right. an arc. Okay, so what? They're all consenting adults who worked hard for their money and wanted to put it down on something that they chose to put it down on. It is none of your business Yeah. what they decide to spend their money on. Yeah. So, and here's another thing to consider, too. Especially if there's something unique about your arc. Like, this was unintentional. But uh, the advanced reader copy of both of my novels, they there were significant number of errors. And unfortunately, mm-hmm. there's still a significant number of errors as I'm finding out because <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah, uh, it's okay because but... reasons. But my point is, yes. if you got one of the hard copy arcs of my book, you have a version that will never exist again, yes. and so it's a collectible especially when I blow up and die, you know, you'll have a, 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 a many. <laughs> when you blow up and die. When I blow up and die. Yeah. When I, when I, you know, I'm going to drive my car into like this big Michael Bay Inferno and um, you know, I'm not the main character. So of course I'm going to die. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> But yeah. No, you mean so, when you blow up and as in like get big and then when you're like 80. Yes. And everyone is like, oh, if only it could be an author like Zachary Bieber. Yep. Them's the goals, baby. Yep. Them's the goals. And then and then and then these will be will be valuable. Oh yes, many more valuable. Yep, because these are the two that I found that had the had the mess ups. So yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm holding on to these. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so yeah, man. And hey, if you're an author tuber or a book tuber and you'd like to uh, you know, debate us about that. Yeah. We, we'd be happy to we'd be happy uh-huh. to do it on your channel our channel wherever yep. we'll do it <laughs> exactly because we are out here to actually champion for independent authors because we're tired of people shitting on them yeah and, and by the way too i would argue that Making it so that you have to have skin in the game to get your hands on an arc would be good for the readers, too. Yes. Because we need to start cultivating on both sides of this community out here. Mm -hmm. We need to start cultivating a sense of commitment and engagement and actually and actually demanding of people to to honor some kind of a social contract and a social commitment. Mm -hmm. You know, in this day and age. Everyone's addicted to their phones. Everyone has an attention span of like five seconds. Everything you can do to encourage a large group of people to have a longer attention span, to commit to something and wait for it and actually appreciate it when they get it. You're literally doing a public service. You're, yes. you're literally taking steps to improve the condition of humanity because that, that delayed gratification 
is good for people. It's good. Delayed gratification is one of the main things that helps people build character. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Their parents didn't do it for them. Someone's got to. That's right. <laughs> it might as well be you. And you might as well market the shit out of your book while you're doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, besides, you're authors. You're supposed to be teaching people stuff anyway. Facts. Facts. So, Caitlin, mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything else uh, super pressing that needs to be said. Do you? No. Cool. No. Roll the finger. All right. 